Yeah, when I first read this story, I was like, wait a minute, what are you saying there? Look out for falling space junk. Space trackers say Elon Musk's Starlink satellites are producing so much orbital garbage that it's now starting to fall back to Earth. An astronomer with Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says an average of, get this, one to two satellites are deorbiting every single day. Wow. Join me now as director for the Institute for Theory and Computation at Harvard University, Avi Loeb. Uh, Dr. Loeb, you hear about satellites crashing down from the sky. Needless to say, that gives one pause. Yes, it does, and thank you for having me. Um, the Earth is big, and 71% uh, is covered by oceans, so uh, the chance right now of uh, getting killed by a fragment from uh, a satellite reentry is not large, but the Federal Aviation uh, Agency um, estimated that uh, within a decade, uh, this chance of uh, getting hit uh, by a fragment uh, rises to 61% uh, per year for a, a single person to be uh, endangered. Then uh, that's a real concern. Uh, just this year, uh, SpaceX uh, launched 2,000 uh, satellites, and uh, altogether the population will increase very soon to tens of thousands, and that would be a risk, uh, not to speak about the possible pollution of the atmosphere with uh, the evaporation of all these metals into it. Dr. Loeb, so many questions around this. Why are they crashing back down to Earth? Is it something about the satellites that loses the ability to uh, continue to propel or whatever and resist uh, maybe the gravity of Earth? I'm not a scientist. I'm just, just throwing that out there. <laughs> I don't know. Well, this, this was uh, planned. It's not unexpected. The, okay. the lifespan of these satellites is a uh, is about five years for uh, Starlink, and uh, so uh, the idea was uh, to deorbit them and let them burn in the atmosphere. And mm. uh, indeed, they, they are small enough uh, for most of them to burn up and not reach the ground. However, some fragments can do so and reach the ground. Uh, and the concern is uh, that um, the, the ozone layer may be damaged as they evaporate, but, but also there is some potential risk. And I think uh, lawyers will start getting involved if uh, there is damage to property or to human lives. Uh, so altogether, you know, this is, this is a, a new uh, threat uh, from the sky. Sure. Uh, we are not talking just about rocks falling from the sky in the form of meteors, but also human-made uh, debris. And uh, in addition to that, there is the problem to astronomers that these are city lights in the sky during the nighttime. And in fact, uh, there is the Rubin Observatory in Chile monitoring the, sky, the southern sky every four nights. And there are lots of streaks from these existing satellites mm. that uh, prevent astronomers from uh, looking at the sky without interruption. And getting accurate information. Uh, Dr. Loeb, we just threw up a, a chart there with some numbers about the number of objects that are actually in the sky. Uh, the report says there are like 12,000 satellites in orbit. 8,000 of them are Elon Musk Starlings. Should we be concerned uh, about these objects possibly not even so much making it back to Earth, but even just like you said, the pollution that they cause? Well, yeah, the biggest uh, issue is that once you have too many of them out there, they might collide <laughs> by chance uh, with one another. Uh, it's not such a big uh, problem for low Earth uh, orbits, but as you go higher, it, it becomes a real danger because uh, there is a point where a, a large enough population you know, starts a, a cascade where uh, some satellites collide and then break up, and then those fragments break up other satellites, and that would be a real problem for anything that we fly um, you know, to elevations of uh, hundreds of miles. Dr. Avi Loeb with a sober warning this morning to look up, be aware, and just know that 70% of the Earth is covered with water and we're probably going to be just fine. Dr. Loeb, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone and you will get fact-based, unbiased news for all Americans.